A World of Warcraft expansion, plenty of trailers, and a PS3 Slim, I'm numbered, it's the 22nd of August, and this is Gamer Update. First up, the rumored World of Warcraft expansion was finally revealed with plenty of new content on the way. The now named World of Warcraft Cataclysm has confirmed the two new classes of Worgen and Goblins, as well as some Nito Mosquito new stuff. Did I really just say Nito Mosquito? Who says that? Really? Like the level cap raised up to 85 and a complete reworking of many of the Azeroth environments. To see that trailer, there's a link over there. Also in surprise announcements that we've known about for weeks news, the PS3 Slim is real. Woo yeah! Didn't see that one coming at all, Sony. Great surprise. Nobody saw it coming. There was no leaked footage. Great job, guys. The PS3 Slim really isn't that much smaller than the original PS3, though. It will feature a nice matte finish, so you won't have to wipe off your fingerprints every five minutes, as well as an increased hard drive and a price cut of $100. All current PS3s will also be receiving a price cut of $100, so if you really want a PS3 and are incredibly impatient, you can pick up one of those. There have been quite a few new trailers coming out as well. Dark Void has a new and very impressive trailer that would have been awesome had it not been narrated by a combination of Vincent Price and a bullfrog. A link to that trailer is in the sidebar. Mafia 2 has a new trailer showing off the art of persuasion, but I think they must have gotten something wrong, because in the fifth grade I learned how to write a persuasive essay and they weren't doing anything that I did. A link to that video is in the description. James Cameron's Avatar, the movie, and the game both have new trailers. The movie shows off how far technology has come and the merging gap between reality and CG as well as what it means to have good storytelling in a science fiction movie. And the game is being developed by Ubisoft, so it's guaranteed to disappoint just about everybody that plays it. Which leads me to the question of the day. How do you feel about film to video game adaptations? Are they a cheap cash-in, or are they a good way to expand on a loved movie universe? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Links to both of those trailers are in the description. Castlevania Lord of Shadows has a new trailer out showing off how confusing the plot will be, as well as werewolves and a lot of rain. A link to that video is in the description. There is also a new Diablo 3 trailer out showing off the latest class, the Monk. See, for some reason I had just never known that to join the Holy Order, you actually have to be able to teleport and take down massive enemies with your staff. Gee, good thing that neighbor came up in a conversation or I would have looked pretty stupid. There's a link to that trailer in the sidebar. The PC version of Modern Warfare 2 got a price raise! Man, am I happy! about this because before I had all of this money that I just had no idea what to do with. I was just going to waste it on food and water. Thanks, Infinity Ward. We appreciate it. DLC! Before Borderlands has even been released, they're already planning some DLC and it is supposedly well underway, says Randy Pitchford. We're assuming that's somebody of importance because we've actually never heard of the guy. Seeing as the game will start with only over 3,000 weapons, it's probably a weapon pack to bring that weapon count up. There are some new achievements for Mass Effect, which is a pretty good indication that some DLC is on the way. It's good to see a company paying attention to their older titles, even when the sequel is well underway. The game of the day for today is Wolfenstein 3D. Wolfenstein 3D is the game we owe for making first-person shooters so popular. This game was the predecessor to many of the popular first-person shooters such as Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, and Quake. The game was originally a sequel to two 2D games, Castle Wolfenstein and Beyond Castle Wolfenstein. Currently, the latest game in the series, titled simply Wolfenstein, came out just a few days ago. The game was truly a turning point in the history of video games. Now, if somebody could come along and make another revolutionary game so we could stop having 500 first-person shooters every year, that would be great. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com battlegamernews or just hit the link in the sidebar. I'm Numbered, and this has been Gamer Update.